In this episode of the podcast, we're going to look at Archimedes' principle, the buoyant force. Have you ever relaxed by floating quietly on your back in a swimming pool? You seem weightless as the water supports you. If you climb down slowly into the pool, you can feel as if you were becoming more and more weightless. It's the reverse. If you climb slowly out of the pool, you feel as if you are gaining weight. The farther out you climb, the more you have to uh, you use your muscles to support yourself. When you were in the pool, you were experiencing buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability of a fluid, a liquid or gas, to exert upward force on an object immersed in it. This force is called the buoyant force. Even though you are floating in the water, there still is the gravity force pulling down on you, which is our weight. When the buoyant force equals the force of gravity in terms of weight, an object floats. We've been exploring buoyancy using the Colorado University website, PHET. In this simulation, we can look at buoyancy. On the block on the left, we see that it is 5 kilograms in mass. And next to it is its weight, 49 newtons. We can use the mouse to drop in our block and find out that it has a buoyant force also equal to our weight, 49 newtons, because it floats. Comparing that to a block that is of the same mass, the same weight, but a different surface area and volume, right? you know that this block is going to sink because it has a lower buoyant force. Remember, the Archimedes principle explains that the amount of buoyant force will determine whether an object sinks or floats in a fluid. As we see with the blocks, if the buoyant force is less than the object's weight, the object will sink. As in the wooden block, right? if the buoyant force equals the object's weight, the object floats. As we learned in the previous unit, object's density will determine whether or not it sinks or floats. The buoyancy force is another way of describing that interaction. 